from here but first we're going to add a layer of jacko board reinforced cement board on both sides commonly used in wet rooms bathrooms but it's also fantastic for a render so we'll fix this first here's the triangle it's been ply lined I fixed a few boards these are proper washers for this type of board. Um, and you want them every 400 centimeter, 400 mil, 40 centimeters. So four across 1.2 and then one in the middle and bottom. That's solid, that's not going anywhere. And now, let's start the cuts. You'll notice I've deliberately counted this line here because I don't want to line up with that and have a double crack that will increase any possible risk of cracking so I've deliberately staggered over the ply where the ply is joined these with a SBR or a pre-grit or anything to be rendered to adhere um, but I personally do not like to not prime them so I'm going to put some SBR over it anyway just in case uh, better safe than sorry and uh, yeah then we're going to crack on with the render Okay, we've just SBR'd it all. This a few minutes. It's, it's uh, sucking quite nicely. And then we'll start the render. We are all set up. We've got the rover.
So even though it's one coat render, you still apply a scratch coat, which is this a nice covering about about 10 mil covering of render over everything. And then Chris is scratching it now. And then you let that go hard or firm, which normally takes you know, anywhere between 10, 15 minutes to an hour or so, depending on the weather. And then you put another coat on it the same day. And that's why it's called one coat render. Given this, probably had almost an hour. Probably don't need to give it quite this long. You can see the dry patches there. We're quite high up, as you can see. So there's a bit of wind whipping through. So that's drying. So that's drying a bit. But even the bits down there, they've firmed up enough now to take the next coat. Remember, pebble dashing is very messy. So sheet down well. It will save you a lot of time later on.
Thank you. 